Hey guys, it's time for a brew. Uh, why do I use tea bags again? Because loose leaf tea is the bomb. Um, so I am going completely with this vlog. No notes. None of these notes. I'm going full on, full on live improv, whatever. So it's a pretty slow day, uh, which is nice. It's very nice. Uh, for the most part, for the past few weeks, been hella swamped in the shop, and it's great. It's great to have those. Believe me, that just means money's coming in, right? Um, but every once in a while, it's great to just have like one or two things on the on the bench and just work on those. And even like as of right now, they're like all easy ones. Um, but it's nice to have that slow time to kind of just chill and uh, check on things and even like look at inventory and be like, oh, discrepancy, discrepancy, blah, 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 and just kind of get some stuff done, right? And uh, otherwise, it just not a whole lot happened today. It was really quite cool. Um, so, you know, I had lunch and all the, you know, basically all the normal things. This morning, not really the greatest start, though even with the slow day. I uh, got up a lot later than I normally do. Um, got up from like, uh, like after 8 or something like that. I try to get up on like this, like uh, 6, 15, 6, 30. That's when I like to get up. My ultimate goal is to get up at like 6, really. Uh, why so, so early? Um, good question. Uh, for the most part, I've just wanted to, and I mentioned in another video that I want to get up and have time to kind of do stuff, either take care of um, calling businesses if I need to make an appointment for anything. Uh, most places are kind of open in the 8 o'clock area, so, or earlier, and to be able to make all those type of arrangements would be kind of nice, and uh, any sort of bills, paperwork I got laying around, I can get all that kind of done in the morning, you know, over a nice uh, brew of some sort, which is always nice. Uh, and have some breakfast, and just not feel like I'm rushed, because when I was little, I had, not little, but, you know, I was in school, I felt like, for the most part, I think I picked sleep, almost always, over anything else, and so I would get up, and then I would rush around, I mean, constantly, just moving, 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 and <laughs> get everything done, and whether try to get food in or not, um, which usually if I try to get food in, I almost always was running even more late. Um, and it, it just it, it annoyed me. And, and I've been doing that even with being an adult and, you know, uh, trying to get to work and stuff. And it's an, it's, it's annoying. And I, re and I re started realizing that I have full control over that. And which is why I'm trying to get this video recorded. My hair looks like crap. Um, I'm going to get that chopped off here soon, hopefully, if I can get an appointment in. Um, but I'm going to try to get to where I'm going to bed at a decent hour and get up at a decent hour. Because I've noticed that I can go to bed like, I want to say 11.30 midnight and still be able to get up at like 6.30. So it doesn't leave a whole lot of time, don't get me wrong, but... You know, but I don't really feel like I need a lot of sleep. But sometimes my body's like, "Hey, you need more sleep." So I, you're gonna sleep until like eight, and it's like, "No, oh, no, 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 no! I don't want that. I don't want that." So, um, so yeah, I've been trying to think about trying to get myself to go to bed. Now I've heard of something. I don't think I really want to do this, but I've heard of people who either have problems getting to sleep, which is why I usually go to bed so late because I feel like I can just be like, lay down and just, and just you know, pass out, right? Um, but I've heard people who have issues getting to sleep, either, you know, the, even with pills and all that stuff, which I've tried pills, um, one of the things people have done is stay up all night, like one night, and then if it's really bad, like two nights or something, you know, just like staying up and kind of reset yourself because by, basically by any time you decide to actually lay down and go to sleep, you're just going to be gone, right? And that just seems dangerous. I've done 24 hours or whatever before, uh, whether it be a church thing I'm helping with, like uh, like a lock-in, which is you know like a little 20, not 24 hour, but a it's actually only like a 12 hour thing. But 
Um, but basically just staying up all night doing stuff. And But I obviously would have gotten up the morning before and then... And then did the thing and then... And basically been up. So for me... So technically I'd been up for 24 hours because I just don't do naps. Um, but but that's, that's what I thought about doing. But I just don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. No. Um, it's, it... I did that when I worked retail. I did a, like a third shift type thing a couple times, and oh, it just I just really killed. Um, but I went for a walk, literally slash jog. Like I jogged a couple times, and I was very proud of myself. Um, I was already sore from yesterday from going for a walk, um, but I'm like I got to do it again because the bugs are so bad. I don't want to do. I don't want to be on a bike and do this. So. In case I need to run away, I can run away, or I can swat the crap out of bugs with the hat. Um, but I'm really proud of myself for getting getting all them healthy run walks in. Um, so that's really, that's really cool, and it felt a lot better today. I was still like really sore afterwards, but uh, I am getting healthy. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. So yeah. Um, made some fish tonight, which I haven't had fish in a while, because I had, uh, I had some fish one time, and, uh, bought from the grocery store, you know, and, and made it and everything, and then I see, I had some leftover fish, so I seasoned them up and put them in the fridge, and I'm like, I'll just have them the next day. Well, I forgot about them, and I think it was like, literally like two days later, I went and got it. Got it out of there. I'm like, yeah, I could have this with some pasta or something, right? I had it and got sick that night. Mm, bad idea. Uh, so I haven't really been able to eat fish in a while because I just, I knew, I, I was scared that was going to happen again, of course, you know, um, which story of my life with food. But yeah, so I end up making fish tonight and everything's fine I don't feel weird at all and I obviously because it's fresh um, but uh, yeah it was really good I made tilapia instead I usually make pollock and tilapia is really good um, I just did some simple salt and pepper and lemon pepper and some cayenne of course needed some of that in there and it was really good honestly um, it's a meatier uh, meat not meatier um, a denser fish I would say uh, so it really has a really good flavor to it. Uh, I don't want to say it tastes like chicken, but it kind of tastes like chicken. <laughs> uh, it, not dry or anything, but yeah, it just has a certain flavor that the lemon pepper really brings out. Um, so yeah, I mean, not, not really a whole lot happened today, but all good stuff. So I hope you had a great day, and I hope you have a brew uh, soon with me sometime. You know, come back again and. Hit the subscribe button, like. I don't usually talk about this, but, you know, hit the subscribe button if you're new, because, you know, that makes me feel better. And, obviously, if you actually like the video, hit like, and if you have a criticism, let me know. What can I do to make it better? Uh, I know editing is a thing I could do, but at the same time, I don't really have any good editing software, and I'm broke. So, <laughs> I don't really have a whole lot of extra money to be spending on really good editing software, the kind of editing software I would actually want to have, uh, basically. Uh, Windows Live Movie Maker, it just does not work that great to me. Um, I feel like it's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys had a great day, and I will catch you again later. See ya!